Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 37 of the Microsoft Word tutorial series and today we're going to look at how to edit rows and columns inside of Microsoft Word. So over here I have a table right here and let's say I want to add in a row or a column just like this. So I can simply go out to the layout menu right here and select where I want to add an, a column or a row. So I'm going to add a row or a column over here at the top. So just select this and over here at the top in the layout menu you can see that I got um, an option to insert a row above or to insert a row below. So I can see that I can actually click here, insert the row below. I can even insert a column at the left side and also insert the column at the right side as you can see right there. So you can see that I can insert the column right there. So I can even select the rows just like this, just, just select the rows and then go to delete and I can delete rows just like that. So I can also delete the column so I can select this. So I'm going to say delete columns so you can see that th that actually deletes the column and delete uh, the rows and delete the column. You can see that you don't have to select everything out there. So you can even delete one cell or something. So you can do that as well. So I'm just going to do delete column. But this actually messes up the size of the table right here. And if I want to I want it back on to 100%, what I want to do is I'm going to go into properties of the table and I can see that I'm on my table and you can actually have a preferred width and height just like that. So I'm going to have a preferred width. Uh, which is set to zero right now. I'm going to set that back to 100% and press OK and you can see that that actually goes back to the full person. If I want to, uh, let's say, have it in just in 50 uh, percent just like this and press OK, that actually brings down the table to 50 percent just like that. If you want to have multiple columns, then this is actually something what you should do. So I'm going to say 100 just like this, 100 percent and press OK and that brings it out back to 100%. You can also have preferred height. You can see that this is 2 inches, 0 0.2 inches uh, of height by default. You can increase this out and you can also increase the width as you want from here, just like that. Uh, if you want uh, everything to be uh, uh, affected, just select all of it and then over here you can increase the height so you can see that it actually distributes it all. I can even type in, so let's say if I want 0.35 inch, you can also type that out. You can also distribute rows uh, just like this as well. So I'm going to say 0. Point, uh, I'm going to say 1 just like this. So that's 1 inch. Uh, if I have to do 2 then that's going to be 2 inch and so forth. So I'm just going to say uh, 1.5 over here and that's 1.5 inch just like that. So I have 1.75. 1.75 just like that. I can center align this, you can send, you can uh, left align this, center align and so forth from over here uh, by this menu right here. So you can see that this is how you can make tables quite, e uh, quite easily and have a set of unique design uh, from over here. Uh, for interesting outlook. So that is how you create tables and then adjust rows and columns inside of Microsoft Word. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.